So now let's actually prove that the answer we got from the last example is actually correct if we just use the equations provided in the FE handbook under the mechanical engineering section on page 449 and 450. So that is specifically called the kinematics of mechanisms. And specifically they want us to know about four bar linkage for mechanical engineering. So again, the last example, we did it the long way. We did it the dynamics way that we learned in our dynamics class, specifically looking at relative velocity and the relative positions, right? So now all we have to do is use the equations that they give us in the handbook. So these are essentially proofs that are given and we can find basically anything we need. We can find the angles, we can find the angular velocities, we can find the accelerations as well, the angular accelerations. And we can find the velocities at certain points and nodes as well. So it's quite handy and from a developer's view, this is what we usually just program and use just to save time. So I'm just going to prove that we what we got is actually correct. So it's going to be very quick. Again, it's the last example is the last one. If you haven't seen that, you can watch it, skip to the final answer, and you'll see that you will get the same answer using the equations. So it's a four bar linkage, crank two. This crank is always what's driven here. This is the crank that's driven. We apply this angular velocity of 45 radians per second clockwise. The angular velocity in link three is what? That's what we want to find. What is this angular velocity here in link three? That's the question. So to do that, all we do is just use the equation under the velocity analysis. That's on page 450 in the FE handbook. So the velocity, angular velocity, omega 3, is going to be A divided by omega 2. And we take the B value on the bottom, lowercase b. We take sine of the angle theta 4 minus the angle theta 2 divided by the sine of the angle theta 3 minus the angle theta 4. So we have that and a and b are lowercase a and b. A, the lowercase letters as denoted in the handbook is always the length of the links, the length of the bars. So a is 4 inches, b is 10 inches. The length of a is 4 inches, the length of B is 10 inches. So let's actually just plug that down here. Or actually, I'm just going to write down everything before I plug. So is A is 4 inches, B is 10 inches. So we have that omega 2 is actually given, right? That's what's driving this thing. That's what we supply to the crank and allows this linkage to move. That's 45 radians per second. So you just plug in 45. That's a 4 radians per second. The angles here are somewhat tricky. The trickiest one is theta 4. So theta 4, be careful. When you look at the figure in the handbook, it's going to be theta 4, 1. So always use that theta 4, 1 in this specific case for this type of mechanism. So theta 4, 1 for our example will be the following angle it would have to be this angle as shown in the handbook so this is actually theta 4 and the way we get this you just take 180 minus 64.63 so it's 180 minus 64 point six three degrees and for that theta 4 is 115 .37 degrees. Now let's actually denote theta 2 and theta 3 because we actually need these. Theta 3 is just this angle. So this angle is correct and it's actually provided. If it wasn't provided, you can actually find that as well using the equations on 449. So just know that. And they depend on the lowercase e, lowercase d, and lowercase f. And those letters can also be found. Sorry, uppercase. They're all uppercase letters. So you just play around with the equations and you can actually find the angles as well. But we know an angle has to be given and it's going to be this angle. So this angle should be given if we actually have this type of mechanism. So the angle is given and this is given. That should always be given. 
but this angle is going to be what angle? It's angle theta 2. This is theta 2. So we have all the angles we need. All we do is plug it. So let me actually just write the angles. Theta 4 is the 115.37. The theta 2. This should always be given if you have this type of example with the respective angular velocity and we know theta 3 is 47.28 degrees so let's just use this and we take a is 4 inches times omega 2 is 45 divided by the b value which is 10 inches and we take that times the sine of theta 4 is this one seven degrees minus theta 2 is this one divided by the sine of theta 3 which is this minus theta 4 which is this 115.37 degrees so we can solve for omega 3 and I think when I did that you should get about what we got in the last example so it's very very close to what we got and it was 1.57 radian per second so this shows that there's a quicker much faster way to solve these four bar linkages specifically for the mechanical FE exam but the last example is important looking at relative motion relative motion of any object or a mechanism so that's that and one last thing I want to stress is we can also find the alpha which is the angular acceleration as well we can find let's say what's the angular acceleration alpha 3 what is that we can find that using the equations again that are provided under the acceleration analysis in order to find alpha 3 just know we have to be given this angular acceleration alpha 2 this must be given where we start here at the crank so just know you can find a lot using those equations and I think that's it and the correct answer should be just like what we got in the last one it's B that's it thank you